Welcome back to Transcended Institute. In today's discussion, we are going to talk about friction force. Okay. So, what is friction force? So, friction force is basically the force that opposes motion, or you can say the force that resists motion. Okay. So, let's say you have got an object. Now, this object is moving in this direction. Okay. So, if there is a force let's say the force of maybe 20 newtons that is pushing this object now the friction force is the force that is present between the surface and the object so that force will always oppose the motion when an object is moving it has got what we call kinetic uh, friction so what is kinetic friction kinetic friction represented by FK that is what we call kinetic friction this is the friction that is present when an object is moving another type of friction that you, under you need to understand is what we call static friction okay so static friction is the friction that is present when, a when an object is not moving for example here is an object if this object is not moving and friction is present and that friction is what we call static friction from the word static static meaning an object is not moving kinetic something is in motion okay so then wh what what's the formula for friction in general friction friction force is given by the mu okay times the normal force in other books they will represent normal force as n and other books they'll say is fn so all in all they are basically the same now when an object is moving in a straight line and it's not at an angle the normal force is basically equal to the mg the mass times gravity okay so what happens now is that this mu we can clearly see here that we have got mu times the normal force normal force is mg so one thing i want you guys to understand here is that the friction force is direct proportion to the mu value as well as the normal force so if they ask you a question maybe mcq question about the the relationship between the friction force and the normal force they are proportion they are direct proportion to each other okay so they are proportion another thing that we have to take note is uh, if we make mu as a subject of the formula i will divide here by n here by n the mu value is the friction force divided by the n so we can also say we can deduce from here to say the mu value the coefficient of friction is basically the ratio of the friction force to normal force okay that's what you need to understand so looking at this i want you to understand that looking at our formula here the friction force is equal to the mu times the normal force but let's talk more about the mu value mu tells us how rough and how smooth the surface is so let's say you have got a surface that has got it it's very rough okay so <clears throat> if the mu value increases just know that it. so in short mu tells us how rough or how smooth the surface is okay so you look at this okay the mu value will always be less than one why because whenever you are finding the mu value you discover that the friction force divided by the normal force the normal force will always be greater than the friction force okay yeah so that's how it is so we can clearly see that eh? the the mu value depends on the normal force one it depends on the roughness of the surface or the lubricant it depends on um, but if you look at this friction force uh, the friction force does not depend on what does not depend on area whether the area is big or small the, fr the friction force can change so it does not depend on the area that's what we need to understand okay so this is basically the basic idea behind this but now i want you guys to understand that eh, sometimes these forces they are going to represent it using what eh? uh 
you know that the the SI unit for force is newton but we need to understand that in one kilo newton there is actually 1000 newton okay so this is the conversion that you need to know in most cases sometimes they are going to be using this okay so let's say an object is moving okay at a constant speed we, we, we take it that way or maybe an object is moving with an acceleration of let's say 2 meters 2.0 meters per second squared so what happens now is that um, the summation of forces in x direction this object is moving in x direction if at all want to find the friction force we can clearly say that uh, we have if we say the mass of this object is 5 kgs so what happens now is that uh, the forces that we have you need to get the summation of the, so this is the contact like this is the applied force okay so what we do is uh, the applied force is moving toward positive x-axis then the friction always opposes so it's going to carry a negative minus the friction force according to Newton's second law we should take note that this guy will always be replaced by mass times acceleration so then this is going to be mass times acceleration is equal to the applied force minus the friction force now what if I want to find the friction force I can shift friction force to go to the other side this ma to go to the other side so friction force will be equal to the force plus ma now it's going to be minus sorry because it has come from this side going to the other side so it will be minus so we have 20 minus the mass is 5 times the acceleration is 2 so you can clearly see that the friction force in that case it will be this is going to give us 10 20 minus 10 is 10 newtons so this is the friction force that is present at that particular point okay now using this information that I've given you guys let us go ahead and look at this interesting question that came in um, one of the exam okay so the question is a worker pushes a 55 kg box with a horizontal force of 0.22 kilonewtons like I said these things are the same things I was talking about I said one I said in one kilonewton there is actually 1000 newton so then if I want to convert I'll say in 0 0.22 kilonewton I want to find this just put x if you don't know how to convert using that dimension analysis so then this is going to give us if we cross multiply we we'll end up having um, 1000 0 0.22 times 1000 0 0.22 times a thousand we're going to get 220 so 220 newtons that is now the force that is pushing that is the force which is here 220 newtons the force that is opposing the motion it is now directed in that manner so since it is moving we're going to have fk now one thing I want you to understand is that they are saying that uh, a worker pushes a 55 kg box with a horizontal force of 0 0.2, 0 0.22 uh, 0 kilonewtons across a level flow as shown in the figure below. So then they are saying the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.35. So the question here that they asked was find the acceleration that was the question okay they said find the acceleration so how can we find the acceleration using the same concept that i gave you the summation of forces in x direction we have got the force that is pushing the object minus the friction force that is opposing the motion I replace this summation with mass times acceleration then the force minus the norm, uh, the friction force like we said we say that the friction force is given by the mu times the normal force okay so we have mu times the normal force if you want you can find the normal force in advance but that's not a problem i can just replace the normal force with 
mg I know that's the formula for normal force not always but in this case because it is just the only forces that we have in y direction we have the weight force and the normal force okay so that's why normal force will be equal to mg so we can divide both sides by m my goal is to find the acceleration m these two cancel a will be equal to the force div minus the mu value times that then we divide it by m let's plug in the values okay let's go ahead and plug in the values a is equal to what's the the, the applied force is 220 minus the mu value is 0 0.35 times the m is a the m is 55 the g is 9.8 then divide this by the mass that is 55 okay so then if i use my calculator here i'll say 0 0.35 uh, times 55 times 9.8 that gives me 118 okay so I'll get rid of this so this gives me acceleration is equal to 220 minus 118 hundred and oh 188 sorry uh, 0.65 then divide it by uh, the 55 so the acceleration then is going to be 220 minus that then is that 1.35 divided by 55 that gives me 0 .0 0 0.57 meters per second squared so this is the acceleration that was present at that particular point now this is the general idea behind friction force but if you want to access if you want to understand more about forces please check the link in the description go to the website register with translated institute and you'll be able to understand fully about friction forces i have answered different questions from past papers from tests and also from different exam so you'll be able to understand more about friction force thank you